very honored. I feel very honored and very lucky. Um, you know, it was, it was something that built over time because it was never supposed to be an actual mission. It was going to be a rescue mission. And uh, then the rescue mission kind of built into becoming a regular mission. And, uh, you know, the first thing I remember is feeling very lucky uh, because, you know, no one had clearly targeted me or our crew to fly the last mission. We just kind of backed our way into it. Um, it, it doesn't make you feel any less honored because you backed your way into it. And, you know, we're going to do our best to go out and put the, the absolute best foot forward to the astronaut office uh, to put just a wonderful cap on the program. I was asked originally to potentially be the pilot for this flight back in January of last year. Um, and as this flight kind of came to being, it was a rescue mission to start with. So uh, I knew in January and the flight wasn't officially assigned until September. So. Uh, obviously, I was excited, thrilled. Um, when the chief of the office, Peggy Whitson, asked me originally, you know, it was kind of one of these things, you know, we think maybe it's a 50-50 chance that this thing will even happen. And so there was a little bit of, uh, you know, nervousness about that and wondering if it's actually, get, you know, you're going to spend all this time training and, and uh, working and then find out that it might not happen. But it was just, I was tremendously honored. For a while there, I knew I was kind of getting close to the front of the line to being assigned again, but I was just wondering whether they'd close the line down before I got there. So I was really had gone through the process and thinking, well, when they didn't have a 135, I thought, well, I missed my chance, I won't get to find the shuttle again. And then uh, 135 came up, kind of rekindled the hopes, and then uh, when I found out I was on the mission, I was just, uh, I was really excited because I, I really want to be a part of this mission. I wanted to be a part of uh, the last mission, whether I'm helping out at the Cape or doing something in Houston or working at one of the abort sites. I just want to be a part of it and the chance to actually fly on it and be on board from the last launch to the last wheel stop is a, is a great opportunity. I'm really thrilled about it. Well, I guess surprise was probably the main one. I was actually working in D.C. at headquarters at the time and I got the call to come back and start training and I'd never even thought that, that I would be part of the last shuttle crew. And, and I'm working with a great team and it's really a lot of fun, but surprise was definitely the first thought. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we will. I mean, we're gonna concentrate on our job, obviously, and so there'll be certain segments of the mission where you're just concentrating doing your job, especially on launch and landing. But every once in a while, especially on more quiet phases on orbit, I'm sure we'll look out and think, wow, this is the last time one of these vehicles is gonna fly. And, uh, uh, and then, of course, after the mission, it'll really sink in. Uh, but it's one of those things where you just want to kind of enjoy every last drop of it. We are very tightly scheduled, and I think we're going to be really busy. I, th I think there might be a few moments of, uh, to reflect, but I think, frankly, it'll be on the runway, ideally on the runway here at KSC, and, uh, you know, we'll stop, and then I think it's going to kind of all come rushing, rushing in at, at, you know, at one moment, I think. We're not going to dwell on it too much until after landing, and then we'll get a chance, hopefully following a great successful mission, to kind of you know, bask in the achievements of the program overall and really reflect. Well, we wanted to make it a, a celebration. We wanted to make it a happy patch that really encompasses the kind of history of the Space Shuttle program. So in some respects, it, it uh, mirrors a little bit the STS-1 patch with the full shuttle on there. And uh, we wanted to also honor the whole NASA contractor team, the whole team that has made the space shuttle possible. And we did that by putting a portion of the, uh, of the NASA emblem in the middle with the swoosh on there. And then we also wanted to signify that it was the last mission. We did that with the Omega, the gold Omega is the uh, last letter of the Greek alphabet. So that was kind of our way of symbolizing the last mission. <laughs>